My name is Deva Leela and I serve at Ananda Village as the director of the Kriya Sangha. And this is Devarshi, Nai Swami Devarshi, and he directs the Kriya Sangha from India and helps guide and direct the global work of the Kriya Sangha. We're here to talk about a new book, Kriya Yoga, and how Kriya Yoga works in our lives, why it's such a sacred technique, and how it can transform your entire spiritual life. I'd like to start with a question uh, about Kriya Yoga and this book. Who is this book for? This book is for anybody interested in, in learning more about Kriya Yoga, but it's really for anyone interested in learning how to grow spiritually and how to develop spiritually. The title Kriya Yoga, Spiritual Awakening for the New Age, it talks about how we are in a new age. We can see it all around us. We see old forms and structures dissolving before our very eyes. People are seeking truth, not with the old churches and formulas and rituals. And I write about my own experiences in this book, growing up in a church that was predominantly rituals and formulas for relating to God and to truth. And so this is a new time we're in, and we can see it before our very eyes. Uh, Paramhansa Yogananda, auto, uh, author of Autobiography of a Yogi, he talked about this, that we are in an age of awakening energy. It's an ascending cycle of energy. And the age of materialism, which in India is called Kali Yuga, is in the past. That time is gone, and we're now in a new ascending age where energy is increasing, people's awareness of energy is increasing. And so it's time for something new and different in terms of how we develop spiritually. And so this book addresses that. And it's really for all seekers everywhere. In the book, I talk about in terms of just religious or spiritual seeking, where studies are showing that many, many people are leaving the churches and they're looking for truth in other ways. And people who are running all the big churches are a little bit alarmed by this. But studies find that these are people who are actually seeking truth and seeking God, but they're, they're not satisfied with the old ways. And they're wanting something that becomes very real in their own life. And this is what Yogananda said. He said there would be a revolution in the churches and that the revolution would be because people want, as he put it, the direct experience of God themselves, not with a priest or a pujari, as they're called in India, being the intermediary between us and the divine, but a direct perception of truth in our in meditation, especially, but also in every part of our life. It's not you know, Kriya Yoga is not just a technique, it's a whole way of life. It's a whole approach to life. And people are wanting more, but people are wanting truth inwardly, and they're wanting to have that divine connection and experience, which is what meditation does. I share something in this book where a, a comedian, he said, this was years ago, and it was very sort of prescient in terms of seeing where we're going. The way he put it, he said, studies are showing that thousands and thousands of people are leaving the church and going back to God. And this is just a funny way of pointing out that they weren't finding God in the church and they still want that. They're not leaving religion or spirituality. They're in fact going to wanting the direct experience of that. And the path of Kriya Yoga really gives that uh, in very real ways. And this is what the book is about. Is It's not about techniques which Kriya is also a technique, but it's about how to live a life where we have an experience of truth, of God, however you want to put it, and also apply that truth in our lives to help us become better human beings, better parents, to help us overcome grief and sorrow and all the human emotions. And so this book is especially about how we can work with just the realities of life and bring the divine experience that we have, that perception in meditation, and bring it and apply it in daily life. So it's for everybody.